Hello friends, welcome to my new Java programming tutorial. Today we will discuss about one of the J option pane dialogs that is message dialog. So let's move ahead and see what is message dialog in Java. Friends, message dialog is nothing but a simple message that is being provided to the user so that he can come to know that something is happening. So if you see the definition, it says that it displays a message that alerts the user and waits for the user to click OK button to close the dialog. The message dialog is used to provide user some message or say some information about the program or something else. In order to create message dialog, J option pane classes three static overloaded methods by the name show message dialog. So first method takes in two parameters such as component and object. Second static method takes four parameters such as component, object, a string and a integer value. The third show message dialog takes a component, an object, a string, an int and an icon. So what these parameters actually are? Let's move ahead and see what these parameters actually mean. The parameters say the component generally is the parent component through which we want to display a dialog. It can be a null value as well. The object message is the, is the message that we want to display to the user. The title, the title is the title of the message dialog box that is just at the top of the dialog box. The message type here have various values. So the message type generally gives signal to the user that something is uh, regarding the say an error, uh, information, a warning, a question or just a plain message. So in order to use the message type we have to provide an int value. That int value can be j option pen error message which will display an error sort of message. Uh, second would be j option pen information message. It will be used to display information. Third would be j option plain message which is nothing but a simple plain message. Fourth would be j option plain warning message. It will show user a warning and fifth would be j option pen question message which will say sort of asking a question to the user. So and the last parameter would be an icon. So we can also customize the icon on the box say plain message, error message, information message have their own icons. So we can also customize these icons and provide our own icons say in the form of image and and we can display a message in a more brief way. So let's move ahead and see how the window of message dialog looks like. The message dialog window simply looks like this. So the diagram shows the message dialogs how it looks. In the top there is a title which say we want to give any title so we can provide the title. There is small icon which is which signifies that what type of message it is. It can be information, a question, an error etc. In middle there is a message which we want to display to the user and and the bottom there is a button. So whenever user clicks the button the dialog box gets closed. So friends let's move to Eclipse and see how we can use this in our code. So friends let's implement various message dialogs. So in order to use the static methods of gOption pane first we have to import the gOption pane class. So here we imported gOption pane class and we are using the first static method which we discussed in the slide. So here it takes two argument. One is the component and another is the object. So in the component say suppose at for this tutorial we will give null because we don't want any parent of this dialog box and in the and in the form of object we will provide message say say hello world. Now if we run the program it displays a message with an icon of information saying that hello world. Now as we click OK the, the dialog box gets closed. So this was our first static method to create the message dialog. So let's move on with second static method. This static method takes in four arguments. So say it takes a component, it takes an object, a string, 
and an int so for the component we give null and object will give the message say and for the string which is the title will give and for the fourth argument let's say we give the message type as plain message so we'll comment this first one and we'll run the program again and here comes it here it comes with a title as welcome which we gave here message with hello world and the g option plain message type we use the plain message so no icon appeared here so let's move ahead and see another message type we'll just copy this and we'll comment the above one here now we will use it as information message so now if we run the program we see an icon of i which signifies that it's an information to the user the message is hello world title welcome and buttons are as it is so we'll just click okay and now we'll move to another message type let's say this time we use the warning message and when we run the program an icon of warning comes there in front of say information message and rest everything is the same so let's move ahead and now so let's move ahead and now create a message dialog with it's a question message and we'll comment the above one so let's run the program this time it displayed an icon of a question mark with everything rest the same so now let's move ahead and so let's see the final one with the error message how it looks and say we fill in the program so now this time the icon is of our say error message and rest everything is the same now so now friends we saw the five message types using the second static method now if we want say suppose we want to uh, display our own icon instead of information warning question and error so we can use the fifth static method so let's comment this out and now we will use our fifth static method so now we are using the the third static method which takes in five arguments and let's say what how we can use this static method in, in creating a customized icon so for the first argument we give null for the second we give the same for the third we give the title is welcome and for the fourth argument will give the message type say information message and now here fourth now here something is really good so let's see how we can provide our own icons so say suppose if i go to this image it i want to display this icon of cd in fr in front of the in front of the information message or say any other sort of error message then what we what i have to do i have just created an image of this in the form of dot png file i have copied this cd dot png in my java projects main directory it's here so first in order to use the icon i will create an icon say there is one class image icon if we go if we browse it there is a 
there is a class image icon in java dot java x dot swing we just import it and we create an instance of it by passing in the say the path to our the image so here it's it's in say root directory so i will just provide cd dot png and i will just copy the icon variable and i will just put it in the fifth argument so as soon as i run the program here instead of the information error warning my own icon customized icon came so by this way also we can create our own icons and we can put it in the the message dialog and so friends this was a tutorial on on the message dialogs which are the part of j option pen so friends if you like this video then please like us on facebook and youtube share this video on facebook with your friends and if you have any comments to share then share it below you can also subscribe my video on youtube and you can also visit my blog at www.hubberspot.com for more java tutorials and source code thank you very much have a nice day take care bye bye